Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sesso here, bringing you guys a Photoshop tutorial, bringing you a cool little banner tutorial here today. I have no clue what I'm calling it right now at this moment, but I'm go I'm like roaming around organic for this. I don't know why, but I am. So like, I really hope you guys enjoy your day today. Uh, it's Friday, enjoy your weekend, all that crazy stuff. I really, really, truly mean that like legit. Like I'm not just saying it to say it. I really hope you guys do enjoy your day. I, it's just a really good feeling to even hear it or to even feel good. So make sure you guys feel great, all right? So basically for this video here today, which I have no clue in the title right now, but what I really did, what I really tried for is just to make some really cool, fun, um, I want to say organic in the means of being messy, kind of, like a messy, neat kind of thing, or messy and cool. That's why I'm going to, like, use that word for this video is, like, organic, right? So, um, I got that feel from it. I just did some really cool, like, I used brush stocks, right? So the only two things you're going to need from this video or in this video today is some cool textures and some cool brush stocks. So if you don't have any brush stocks, I have my free ones, my 50K bundle pack came with brush stocks, including actually patterns as well. Um, so basically if you don't have any kind of brushes, you can get these right here for free. And it's just very, very simple to do. All you gotta do is download it. All you gotta do is go to like this little cogwheel here, go to replace brushes. You'll find my file wherever you placed it at and you load it and you're good to go. So, and the same exact thing actually rolls off with uh, the patterns. If you don't know how to do the patterns, it's pattern overlay. You go to here, you go to here. Uh, replace patterns and you just put the patterns in right so then you get these patterns as well uh, that I have here So with that being said, it's not too hard It's not too difficult and the more fun thing about this is is the fact that you can just basically do whatever the heck you want and Pretty much there's no real mistake this that you see right here was not like I, I Planned for it, you know, I really didn't it was just fun and the color correction made it look really dope and then just like the overall maybe the like the uh Maybe the combination of the brush stocks that I have, like, all kind of match together, right? So if you're using, like, a brush stock or whatever, some kind of, like, some kind of, like, shape or whatever, even if you make them yourself, like, I have, like, a video on how to make some cool brush stocks as well. Uh, I'll link those in there, and, of course, I didn't really work on the text, but for the text, you can probably do some pattern pack. Uh, I did, like, I said pattern pack. Uh, you can probably do, like, the uh, video or check the video out where I did, like, the uh, pattern box um like text effect thing if you guys want to get some kind of cool text otherwise i like to kind of like you know freely um hover over like a like a kind of like a soft light white box with like white text and like a simple drop shadow i'm down for that that's what i like personally with this kind of style and i hope you guys do as well so don't forget guys who likes on the video equals a signal below uh probably be most likely the psd of this file right here so um did i actually show you the, the textures that i'm using i'm using these textures right here um, if you guys just want to know where I got them from, I literally Googled, or even look at, you can just get the name from here. But all I did was just Google textures, and I got those. So, works for me, right? Okay, so, the first thing we're going to have to do is after you have, like, the brush stuff, I'm going to be using my brushes, the, uh, 50k brushes. You can also purchase these stock brush packs. It has, like, 175, so you can get some different patterns, some different, like, unique, like, looks. Um, otherwise, I'm pretty sure you can find, like, brush packs around the entire freaking world in Google, right? The Google world. Um, so yeah, don't have to always worry or use mine, but I don't know, I mean, mine are god darn cool. Anyway, to start this off, I'm going to be using the circle, uh, brush, uh, little stock here, right? So of course, the reason why I'm using this one is because if you gotta, if you gotta find something that looks like this, um, really, you could just use, maybe you can just use circles themselves, like with like the marking tool and like space them out like this, because we need a stock that has some kind of spacing in between. That way we, uh, when we, um, go for the blur, which we're going to also, we're going to motion blur it. It has like spacing in between it actually looks like not like, not like just streaks, right? We want it to look like faded streaks kind of. So if I just fill this with like a couple clicks of this, uh, stock here, something like that, right? Or maybe I can make it a little bit more bigger, maybe, right? So, like, a good size, just click, like, a couple times. I don't know why I'm making this so difficult. It doesn't really need to be. So, three clicks. There we go. I did three clicks, kind of filled it right there, and it's spaced, but I have some shape there, right? So, when I go to my uh, filter here, so I go to filter, blur, motion blur, go to about zero angle, so make sure it's on perfect uh, horizontal uh, line there. So, basically, when I put this distance up, you'll see that this will slowly start filling the space that I kind of want. And I don't want it to look like too like this. I don't want to look like this. This is like not what I'm going for. I'm not going for like a streak. I'm going for like a kind of like a broken texture kind of thing. You can still see. Mm, do I like this? Uh, something like that. That'll work for me. I'll just say 550, just to be like you know whatever, right? To, 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 get, uh, to give you guys a number. So I'm using 550. I can still see a little bit of texture. Um. When I'm saying texture, I mean like, you know, like fades in. So if I actually want to, I can throw a, a pattern on this one. Like a, just a quick texture on this. Just see what it, if it does anything crazy for me. Like, let's just try, right? We'll put a uh, texture on this. Uh, so basically to do that, I just dragged in my texture from the folder I just showed you guys recently. 
and I'm just making it a little bit bigger. And to do this, I'm going to go to right click, uh, create clip mask, and then I'm just going to basically make this on a overlay for the layer mode, and it has just a texture over this blue that we have here. And by the way, if you guys want to know the blue that I'm using, this is the hex code for it. It's 238. E eight E and like I said, this is gonna be like that backing that really st the starting point of this background. So uh, I'm gonna actually control click on these, control E to merge them together, and then I'm gonna try this. See if it goes a little bit different. I don't know. It probably won't, but it doesn't hurt to try it. I don't know if I did in the beginning for like my example either. Um, I didn't really change anything, but let's just like I don't know. Now I'm going for like 340 now or 350. That'll work, right? So basically, I just want to fill some kind of space, but also have it look like this. It looks kind of broken, kind of streaky, right? This is what I'm kind of going for. I don't want it to be completely straight like I showed you guys if you guys put the uh, motion blur all the way up. Something like this. If you have something like this, you're good to go. And this is probably like the uh, the hardest part because it's just we want to make sure that it's not, not too much black showing. Um, either if you're using a black background or a white background. I'm not sure if this style works for with a white background, but if just in case you are trying it. Um, leaving like black, like solid black and like a something like this, right? For the example right here. If you leave solid black, like if I didn't have like this blue right here in the background, it wouldn't look as finished, I believe, or like it just wouldn't look correct in my opinion, but it's whatever, you can try it out. Anyway, we got this, this is the backing for it. So basically now we can start a new layer and we're gonna actually start off with doing this, like the most craziest thing that pops out of this is this like orange yellow, uh, cool little wood texture that I have on this as well. And just like the most coolest like little stock that I have like showing off. Like it's the most like most uh it pops out the most, right? So I'm gonna use a stock like that. I'm gonna use the same exact one actually, which is this one right here, I believe. Um yes. So basically for this, I'm just gonna go ahead, lower the size a little bit. I'm using that by using control alt, right clicking, and then I'm moving my mouse left and right to put my diameter up and down. Uh let's see, we're gonna like click like maybe like two clicks. Um let me, let me use a color so you can see. Like two clicks, some like right there, and then like right there. Yes or no? Let's see. That's fine. I think that's good. Like something like that, right? And just in case you guys didn't know, if you guys cannot see your pattern, like if you're clicking around on your brush, it's just like it's just because your cap locks is on. I get. I always like try to like reinforce that because like some people like really honestly forget, and that's just why it's doing that. So, anyways, besides that, I just click twice. And we're just good to go right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna use Control U on my keyboard while I'm selected on the layer to bring up the hue and saturation. I'm gonna change this to that orangey yellow that I had, right? So something around like here, kind of. Um, like yeah, we'll do that. There we go. And if you wanna use this hex code, why not? Like it's going to be uh, this hex code for this one is 8E8823, just in case you want to use the same one, who knows, right? And you can just basically change the color by using double click uh, color change and put the uh, hex code in here if you want to use the same one. Otherwise, you're good to go, right? So I'm going to throw in that wood texture because I like that wood texture. It looks the best, in my opinion, for something that's going to be popping out super crazy, right? So right click, uh, click mask, and we'll just put this down there. And we're just going to basically put this uh, new texture, right? This new texture we have, this wood texture, put it on overlay. And that way it looks good, right? It looks pop, it's popping out. And we're just gonna basically click and control and merge them together. And we're gonna change our blend mode from normal to linear color. Why not, right? I don't know if it makes actually a big difference, but linear color will make a difference when you start putting things uh, around it. So basically it's gonna basically, it's gonna like, uh, how would you call it? Like it would blend better in my opinion. So you can change, you can always change these layer styles if you wish to, but for now, this is gonna work for me. It looks good. And we're going to continue. So right now, it looks like, yeah, like, well, it looks whatever, right? So we're just going to take some other textures. We'll take, what's this? Uh, let's take, like, one that has, like, a widely spread. Yeah, this will work. Something like this is what I'm looking for now. Just say I want to, like, spread this around. So there's something like this, like this cool little stock here. Um, I'm just going to throw a texture on it. We'll actually make it, we'll make it, um, no, we'll keep it black for now. No, we won't. We're going to make it this color. Uh, we're gonna take a texture. Let's just take the wood one Another wood one they have like a bark one and we're gonna make it big enough And we're gonna right-click clipping mask and I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this on black actually I want to see what happens if I put this on overlay. No, no, no So I'm just gonna actually keep it on like normal maybe like lower the opacity just a little bit I'm actually gonna keep it looking like this um, unless I also want to try and Let's say like no, I'm kind of a fan. Mm, maybe I don't like this texture too much. Let's just try this one really quick. And I know it's like not super high resolution, but like who knows? Nope, I don't like that one either. 
Maybe this one, like the paper one. This looks pretty freaking dope, actually. Like, on its own. Uh, let's see. Boom. Clipping mask. All right, I do like that. So the paper does work for me here. Because it almost looks like shredded paper almost, right? So, like, I don't know. So things like that, if you kind of actually do want to go ahead and, like, um, how do you say, plant things out. Something like this, I can, like, lie to you guys right now. I'll be like, yeah, I totally meant to, like, make it look like shredded paper. But, you know, things like that, maybe you can make it, like, look like that. I mean, it's random, right? Whatever. I'm just going to keep it random. I did not mean to do this. But it looks cool. So we're going to go ahead and continue. I'm actually going to make something more... Um, I'm actually gonna like kind of like bring out some little bit of depth not like that not really depth But give you some highlights on this uh, background so far I'm gonna use a white foreground color, which is basically right here, right make it white solid white I'm using brush stock like this right here. This is I'm using the rectangle one and Like this uh, I'm just gonna click like one two three times So like just like the cover around the background and I'm just gonna go ahead and go to filter blur Gaussian blur just a simple Gaussian blur nothing too high. So 5.5 pixels is pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and press ok I'm gonna go to my layer mode and change this layer that we just just did just now from normal to overlay and this will give me a little bit of highlights this is kind of what i'm looking for right quick and for me like that'll work right now right away i'm gonna make a new layer i'm gonna put some more highlights but i'm gonna make it a different direction with like motion blur this time so i'm gonna use something like this it doesn't have too much going on with it so something like this uh I'm just like sh click a couple times just like like that right i'm gonna go to filter blur motion blur i'm gonna change the angle to maybe like 15 and i'll go ahead and just lower the distance to a mm, that'll work like 50 put this on overlay and then we get something like more like this like these shapes and what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna delete i'm gonna hide this really quick i'm gonna take an eraser and just slightly erase things around just so there's not so much highlights going on so when i put this one on it's not like overwhelming and this looks pretty good i'm actually gonna go ahead and duplicate the uh triangle one a couple times like maybe once actually just once and i'm gonna like erase this one over here and yes, I like this, looks good. So what I'm looking for now is, if you can see this example I have here, I have more like black, like I have like this cool little splash of like black, like a deep black going on here. Um, To get this, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer, make sure my foreground color is deep black, and I'm gonna go to this brush, and I'm gonna use, I believe it was this one. Was it? Um. Uh, possibly, no, it was like something like this. Nope. This one? Nope. This one. It was this one. All right, sweet. So I'm going to take this one and click a couple times, just like so. I'm going to make it a little more bigger. And for me, that is good enough. Maybe one more click over here. Or oh, let me like zoom out. Maybe click like right there and right there. All right, sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a texture on it. We'll just throw on the bark one for round. Like, just do that. And right click, clipping mask, and we're gonna just put it on overlay. I'm gonna actually see if, or not overlay, lower the opacity itself. And I'm just gonna go ahead, control click on these. I'm gonna throw it now on overlay, and this will just have these like little that dark spots, like the dark spots that I have in the uh, the uh, example. So something like this would work. And you can, you can just kind of start seeing, the more you put on, the more finished it looks. So like you can be here like all day. So I'm just gonna keep on, like just maybe like one more thing I'll add. And then we'll finish off with the pa uh, the uh, color correction. So we'll just do, no, we'll do like this. Do something like this. And what we'll do actually is we'll make it like blue. And we'll throw on this texture because why not? And make it a little bit more bigger. Right click, clipping mask, put it on overlay. And I believe, I, did I not change this color to blue? Oh, I didn't change the color itself. There we go blue right click clipping mask uh make sure i rash as a layer so that i can clip mask it there we go all right control click on this and then i'm gonna basically maybe like see where i can find like a cool layer style that looks cool on um that doesn't look terrible so color dodge with this doesn't look bad at all sorry for my dog if you guys hear it in the background but i'm just gonna delete something like around here around here maybe like around here a little bit even like here and like just a little bit i'm just gonna mess around just a little bit so that works for me so now I'm going to actually show you guys the color correction, which makes it look so much better in my opinion. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off with a simple brightness and contrast. So brightness and contrast, and we're just going to lower the brightness and up the contrast just like so. And maybe not too much on the low on the brightness. So like minus, minus 10 is, is pretty good. Um, contrast 40 is pretty good for me at the moment. I'm not trying to make anything crazy dark and like crazy vibrant, but it's kind of like almost going to be like a, almost like a, you probably think of it's going to be useless in a second, but I'll just show you, I'm just showing you, right? I'm gonna go to my color uh, curves here, my, my curves. 
and I'm gonna put this one up on the top and like a nice little point that's going up on the top and like take this one and put it like not down I want to make it like around here that looks pretty good so just something like that I'm just trying to like make sure things pop out really quick and then this is where you guys be like why'd you just do that so I'm gonna go ahead and go to here and I'm gonna go to I believe it's hue and saturation uh, if I'm not like wrong right I believe I'm just gonna lower my saturation just a little bit and we're gonna get something that looks like this right you guys can see like the tone just like change from like here to some like really nice it's almost moody it looks really really good and in my opinion if you don't see a difference if I actually actually uh, if I were to put on or if I did not put on the brightness and contrast or the curves you would it would look you know it, it would just look boring to me it looks still flat but when you put the brightness and contrast to bring out some colors and uh, you know kind of like darken some other colors then like just give it a little bit of depth it looks better in my opinion it looks really really good um, so right now I'm almost pretty much done if you guys want to like to make it look like you did <laughs> This looks terrible like sounds terrible to say but like to make it look like you did more work almost Um, you can also use patterns within some of these textures. So like for some maybe like the yellow one Uh, this one right here. I can just use pattern overlay and I can just pick a pattern. Let's just say we want to use Uh, what looks pretty cool Like this one right here. You can kind of see it right here. I'm moving it. It looks pretty dope inside there You can put it on like overlay and like load the opacity if you want to or just keep it on normal actually it looks pretty good on normal and you can do this for anything on these and also to like change the color of it which would actually don't work actually do not do that it would not work but um you would have to keep it black and white that's just like the downfall unless you also uh make a new layer and put the pattern overlay like a clip mask over it so if you guys want let me just show you guys what i mean um let's just say you didn't have a pattern overlay on this one but you want to put it over something right that has color on it and you want to make sure you be able to change the color later on if you wish to as well you can just make a new layer and with the patterns, all you got to do is lower the fill all the way down to zero. So then you make a new layer, lower your fill all the way down to zero, and just alt backspace to quick fill any color in. So what I just quick filled is uh, my foreground color, which is the alt backspace uh, shortcut. And if I just put my fill up really quick, you can see it's blue. Lower the fill. We're going to double click on this layer, go to uh, pattern overlay, and you can see there's patterns right now like going around. I'll just use something like, we'll just use something that you can see. Um, right, uh, uh, that, whatever, right? Press OK. Now, like, you won't be able to change the color because it's a pattern overlay, but if you rasterize the, uh, the layer style, just like so, now you go to color overlay, then you can get uh, a, a color change that you wish, and they can do, like, I don't know, um, just because I'm just going to show you, we'll do red, press OK, and then you can rasterize it again, and then you can just right-click, clip, mask it, and then you can get on that yellow. Um, that's just something if you want to do, if you want to put more color into it, but let's just go ahead and make a final little thing adjustment. So we're going to go click on this brush, a nice soft brush. And use a foreground color white, and we're gonna go ahead and make this pretty big. Uh, and then we're gonna make zoom out just a little bit, and we're just gonna click like boom. That looks pretty freaking dope. I like this. I don't know about you guys, but I really love the kind of style I'm going on here. And we're just gonna type in the word, um, we're just gonna go with it organic. <laughs> uh yeah, organic, and we're just gonna make the font like something like that. I don't know like it's cheesy I know it doesn't even make any sense and not like I, I know it makes no sense but I'm just going with it let it just let it rock right uh put it in the middle and then for a simple little soft uh, box all I did was make a uh, use my M tool for the marquee tool right the rectangle marquee tool right click just or left click make a nice little drag it around just like that something like that and put it on white and then we're just gonna type uh, change the uh, layer style from normal to overlay and we're gonna go ahead and use the eraser and with a soft brush eraser, we're just gonna erase the edges just like so. And then pretty much we are basically done. And there you go. The font doesn't really work. I like the font on this one and on um, this one right here. And um just really quickly, I'm gonna see see what happens. If I just like let's say if I didn't want to like, let's say if I added things on like this one right here. Um that's a lot going on, but you can still see like the more you add, it's pretty cool. And since everything's on like a different layer style and everything like blends with each other, um and this one doesn't have a background on it on the background you can just basically it's just basically me putting this like uh, example on that just has more layers onto it so you can see what it looks like if you just put more stuff into it you can argue that it's too messy but if i just start like maybe like a, like delete some stuff you can still see it. it looks pretty freaking dope the more you add i really truly believe it, the cooler it looks so i'm gonna go ahead and say if you guys wish to maybe like even do two of them and see what happens when you combine them but otherwise this is the one we vi uh, did for the video it looks pretty dope and let's just see what happens if I also change the color really quick uh, with uh, hue and saturation. Let's just see what happens. That looks pretty dope. I don't know. Maybe a lot more colors uh, really wouldn't work. That looks pretty cool too. 
I don't know. It looks pretty dope in different colors as well. So, sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to leave a like, guys. 200 likes on the video equals the secret down below. And do not forget to check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SysWHQ. Don't, don't forget to follow me on Twitter either, at SysWHQ. I'm, like, hovering over, like, almost 9K followers. So, if you have a Twitter and you like me, don't forget to follow me. That makes no sense. Like, I see people all the time tweet me, like, yo, how do I not follow you? I'm, like, I don't freaking know. Like, do it. Like, yes. All right. Right there. At SysWHQ. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your day. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'll talk to you guys later. So let's switch you out. Peace. Oh, okay. Hold on. Like, usually I end the video, but, like, I went back and was like, yo, did I forget anything? And, of course, I, like, didn't forget it. But let's just say really quick. I'm going to show you guys this really quick. Um, let's see if you didn't want to, if, if you did not know how I did, like, the gray or the black and white a little bit, like, you know, sub, I almost said subliminously or sub, sub, mm, subliminously. Did I say it right? No, probably not. I don't, I'm probably not using the right word, but regardless... Um, to get the little black and white that I have going on here, all I did was I went ahead and made a new layer. I used a white foreground color, but basically I made a simple box, right? Like a cool little marquee tool, rectangle box. I filled it in with white, so I just pressed Alt Backspace to quick fill it because I have my foreground color as white right now. And I just basically used Control T to free transform, rotate it at some kind of cool angle, and like just basically made a duplicate of it, like two little uh, things right there. Uh, I'll just merge these two together just because with control e and i'm gonna go ahead and just alt move it and just make a duplicate of it control t right click uh flip horizontal and just like put it in like a somewhat of the same spot and what i did was i just simply just put this on hue and it made uh it makes it just black and white right so that's all i did for this and uh for me to be honest like it does look cooler with black and white so that's why i wanted to actually put it in here and you can also do other like you know rectangles or squares or whatever um just like around and like spots to make it like black and white just like that and merge them together put it on hue and you get some cool black and white spots and to, like to be honest like this is whatever it looks freaking dope it looks cool but having a little bit of black and white into it makes it even better in my opinion so if you guys want to know how i did that that's how i did it so thank you guys so much for staying till the end of the video talk to you guys later you beautiful people peace